Scare in the air. Democrats today holding a news conference warning that any deep spending cuts will be long lines at the nation's busiest airports and less security. There are going to be real consequences for anybody who travels in America. We see consistent two to three hour lines to clear customs. Furloughs of frontline airport workers would increase security wait times by at least one hour at our busiest airport. 90 minute flight delays across the country. But do the numbers actually add up? Republican lawmakers putting out these numbers. They show that domestic flights are down 27% from pre-9-11 levels, while the FAA budget is still up 41% over the last 10 years. To aviation expert Michael Boyd on what and who to believe. Michael, who's right? These Democrats should be ashamed of themselves. There's no need to do this. I think LaHood has been given the order by Obama, make sure maximum inconvenience is put upon the public on Friday. There's no need for these kind of cutbacks, and it's going to hurt the economy. But all that stuff you just heard about these Democrats talking about how it's going to be terrible, it may be, but they're going to create it. All right, I was just looking at the scene at National Airport. Maybe their press conference caused delays because you had to get around them and all. But um, having said that, uh, what, what about the financing for the FAA and of these various security agencies and Homeland Security, of course, over the years has gotten to be a, quite the behemoth. So is it a lack of funding uh, that's the issue here? And will cutting it in any way, shape, or form at least compromise some of this security that they talk about? Well, we don't have good security now to start with with that organization. But the fact is, there's plenty of money there if they spend it right, number one. And number two, to cut back on air transportation with the sequester, why don't we just put a gun to the head of the economy and pull the trigger? It's absolutely reprehensible and irresponsible, and those statements they're making is to scare the public, and they want to do everything they can on Friday to make sure that the public suffers through this to make a political point. But you could argue that they might try to scare ahead of the fact that, say, that's mm -hmm. what they're up to. The reality is, within the Transportation Secretary's budget and purview, he could cut a lot of other things instead of going right for security or right for those guys who are on the line, just as the agriculture sector, uh, secretary doesn't have to go right to beef inspectors uh, under his budget and, and sacrifice uh, the quality of the beef we eat, right? No, of, of course not. But remember, this is politics, and Ray LaHood is, you know, the vintage politician. He will do anything he's told, and what he's going to be doing on Friday is saying to people, look, you're in a long line because the Republicans wouldn't do what we asked. Isn't this terrible? We don't have to do this, but it's going to really harm the economy. And they're going to put that up just to make some political points. Do you think, though, finally, that, that in this environment, whether we're having a sequestration soap opera or not on Friday, that the further we get out from 9-11, the less concerned and maybe the, the fewer dollars will go into anti-terrorism efforts here? Because it's more time has, has passed. And that, that would have been well, the case with or without sequestration. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, we don't have security today. We have the pointy object patrol. And we've forgotten about 9-11. Uh, remember, the person who ran security on 9-11 uh, and failed miserably, she later got put on the board of directors of one of the airlines who lost two airplanes. No, we've forgotten 9-11. This is all about looking for toothpaste and pointy objects. Michael, thank you very much. Good seeing you again.